The Land Transportation Office or LTO is providing a preview of the situation expected on February 1 when unconsolidated public utility jeepneys are no longer allowed to operate on their routes. The agency will take the lead in implementing operations to ensure that no public utility jeepneys without legal franchises are carrying passengers. Despite statements from the transport group Piston that their members will continue their routes without joining the franchise consolidation, the LTO has made it clear that they will apprehend unconsolidated public utility jeepneys starting February 1. So kung sila ipapasada na hindi na mas na nakirehistro, eh, ayon sa batas, hindi mo pwede gawin yan. So ang pipilitan ho namin i-impound that, it's an impoundable offense, no? LTO Chief Assistant Secretary Vigor Mendoza mentioned that the agency is already expanding impounding areas for the jeepneys that will be apprehended. Offenders may face penalties including criminal cases and fines of up to 3 million pesos for providing public transportation without a legal franchise. Dinalakihan na po namin yung impounding areas po natin. Para sa ganon, kung talagang pagdidiino nila, tatakbo pa rin sila, they're violating the law already. So, we would implement the law as for that. Kung hindi, kami naman ang mababalikan, bakit sila hindi inuhuli habang yung iba na hinuhuli naman namin. The LTO is set to open impounding areas in Carmona, Cavite, the MOA area in Pasay City, Lipa City in Batangas, San Pablo, and San Pedro in Laguna. Impounding areas in LTO areas in Bulacan, Pampanga, Tarlac, and Nueva Ecija will also be expanded. The LTO encourages public utility jeepney operators to comply with the Public Utility Vehicle Modernization Program or PUVMP instead of facing enforcement operations. JP Nunez, UNTV, News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.